All right, gentlemen, I went over earlier the instructions to the dressing room. I want you to obey my commands, correct at all times. And let's have a good, clean fight and good luck. Play Olympia, you ain't no sort thing. Andy Lee, the challenger, with a chance to make his dream come true. Box! It is scheduled for 12. Andy Lee in the conk yellow, Chavez in the green. Lee plans to make his fight from the outside. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. is going to show you movement and try to get to the body of Andy Lee right away. You see the reach advantage enjoyed by Lee? He's going to try to make the most of it. Uh, Lee needs to land left hands, right hooks. When Chavez gets his close grip, that left uppercut that Chavez turns up and tie him up on the inside and turn him around. Don't exchange with him. You don't need to exchange, especially early in the fight with the young Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Andy Lee's plan, when Chavez Jr. comes in to attack the body, is to look for the head. He says his head is wide open when he comes in to attack the body. Stop! Chavez Jr. Stop. trying to get inside. Lawrence oh. Call warning Andy Lee not to hold the back of the head. Of Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Lee now working that jab from the outside. That's exactly what he needs to do. He's got the height, he's got the reach. No reason for him to come at close quarters. So far, he's landing that jab and that left hand down the middle. Chavez needs to jump on him. He can't waste too many rounds. He needs to make it a brawl. Too many of stuff. Just keep working and keep working him. Two Hall of Fame trainers in the corner. The preparation, excellent. Everything for an epic match. Lee trying to push off Chavez, not let him get inside. And you're gonna hear the crowd roar when Chavez gets inside. Yes, and every time Chavez lands any halfway decent shot, of course, the crowd's gonna go crazy. So far, Andy Lee is doing an excellent job of staying on the outside with that long jab. Even if he's not cat touching him with the I mean, making a statement with the jab, but he's keeping him at bay. He's using his reach to keep him at distance and setting up the left hand down the middle. And Chavez, the great improvement for him has been the right hand. Freddie Rhodes Jr. working with him beautifully to get that straight right involved. Chavez being patient here. <laughs> and as soon as he tries to come in, Lee goes to the top. He goes for the head of Chavez, which he anticipates is going to be open. <laughs> Final seconds of the opening round. And Lee so far making the fight he wanted. Yeah. That is the fight from the outside. And Lee find very smart in that first round. I gave him the first round, baby. Round number two of a scheduled 12-rounder for the WBC Middleweight Championship of the World. The reigning and defending unbeaten champion is Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. for the green. Andy Lee, the challenger, the southpaw, we gave the first round to Andy Lee. On the basis of his work from the outside, did not allow Chavez Jr. to get inside and work the body. And his corner, Emmanuel Stewart, very satisfied with that first round of Andy Lee. Because he's doing a good job and he's getting the round. That's exactly what Chavez Jr. needs to do. He needs to take advantage of that. He needs to close that gap. He needs to get close. Chavez, Freddie Roach telling him he's got to get busier. Landed a good left hand. Lee content to stay outside, using his reach advantage and boxing ability. Right. Box. Stop. Step back. Chavez now trying to close the distance, trying to get inside on Lee. <laughs> Lee loading up with that left hand. Lee so far doing a good job of anticipating any chance of Chavez coming in and retaliating with his left, straight left. Now Chavez goes to work to the body. That's Chavez's fight right there in the inside. So he let him off the hook. He needed to take advantage of him there. He had him on the ropes. He didn't let Andy Lee get out of there. You cannot allow a guy that, like Andy Lee. He's a smart guy, technician guy. He keeps turning you. You can't allow him to do that kind of stuff. He's too smart for that, Benny. Lee even throwing up his butt. Good left hand by Chavez. 
A crazy left hand right there that landed on the chin of Lee. Lee's corner urging him to use a jab for And that job is preventing Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. to get inside. Good left by Lee. Another one. Two left hats uppercut by Lee. And again, we expected this from Lee to start out very fast. The key is if he can keep it up for 12 rounds. Oh! Chavez digging the body. There's that left hook to the body. Chavez right now. There's another left to the body. Chavez now succeeding in closing the oh, nice little uppercut. That, that's Chavez's uppercut. Short shot. Close combination like his father did. Left hook to the body. And uppercut down the middle. Closing the gap. And he's chopping with that left hand to the body of Lee. Lee has stopped throwing the jab. Final seconds of round number two. A better round for Chavez. I gave the second, the second round to Chavez, so I've got it even. It's an even fight. Very good competitive fight so far. Between these two young lions. Chavez, 26 years of age, and Lee, 28. Chavez, the champion, the WBC middleweight champion. Andy Lee, the dream is to take the title back to Ireland. Lee trying to score with that straight left hand. Chavez now doing a good job of keeping his hands up. Catching that jab, but then trying to get inside. Chavez needs more head movement, more feints. He's got to work himself in. He's got to throw the jab that works himself in. He just can't come in straight forward. You see how Andy Lee's spawned him with the jab and just went from coming to counter him with the left. Chavez right down the middle. There he goes again. Chavez thinks he's stronger physically than Andy Lee. Well, it will show as the rounds progress. Lee, on the other hand, now is not fighting as effectively from the outside. Good left hand by Lee there. Straight left hand. Travis tends to blow up from one, you know, he's probably like 175, 180 right now. That's why Andy Lee, these guys like Edward Rodriguez, Brian Vera, Donovan George, and then two of them fighters are not good body attack, you know, big guys are fighting. So he had a great training camp with good fight partners. No, but I said so. The key for Lee is to be sharp with that jab. Don't pile that jab. Because that's when Chavez has a chance to get in. And I'm taking the body of Chavez. And the crowd rolls their approval. Lee felt that body shot. Yeah, he did. The left of Chavez really digging into the body of Lee. Inside by Chavez. This is where he's at home, fighting inside. And that's where Andy Lee needs to hold him and keep turning him, get him back on the outside. But Chavez is just too strong. He's showing it already in his third round. Think he's stronger than Andy Lee. Couple of those shots really low on the part of Chavez. But you can see the confidence now growing on the part of Julio Cesar Chavez Jr as he's been able to back up Andy Lee. Andy Lee needs to continue to work behind that jab. Conditioning is gonna be huge for this fight. As they have set a tremendous pace, tremendous pace for the start of this fight. See, Andy's, Andy's landing at mid, down the middle, but he's not coming back with a right hook. And Tyler Jr. has up for some more. He's, he's asking for more shots. Andy Lee holding on. That's another Julio round. Round number four, Andy Lee, the challenger. Julio Cesar Chavez, the reigning and defending unbeaten champion. Lee's still very well fighting from the outside. His corner telling him that Chavez is going to get tired. On the part of Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., Freddie Roach telling him to be first. Be first, don't wait against Lee. Yeah, he told him already, he said, you're stronger than this kid. Make him work. Stay on top of him. 
That's exactly what uh, Chavez is doing in this round. Good right hand by Chavez inside. Right on the chin of Lee. Lee has to give him lateral movements. He cannot be backing up against Chavez. No, he can't. He's got to turn him, hold him, and then turn him. That's it. That's what he has to do. When he backs up, and especially when he backs up straight like that, he's completely out balanced. And Chavez Jr. is a strong kid. He's going to come right at him. That's it. Side movement. That's exactly that's what he's got to do. That's what you got the people in the corner telling him over here. Lee's corner yelling at him side to side. Chavez pursuing, pursuing Lee. Stop! Step back. Lee right there pushing Bugs. the head of Chavez down, softening up the neck muscle. Straight left one there by Lee. Body, hold on, body! Hey! Back! Come on! Back. Solid, solid left hand by Lee, but Chavez is got a granite chin. I mean, he's just taking some good stuff there. In the family. No shot. Let's go. Warning by Lawrence Cole to Daniel Andy Lee to go ahead and elevate those shots. Beautiful job of pivoting and then landing that shot. Get your jab back, Andy. Sound is now closing the distance, not allowing Lee to use his jab. Yeah, he's got to use that jab. He used the right hook. He's spending too much time on the corner. He's spending too much time on the ropes. He needs to make the fight in the center of the ring. Oh, setting up everything off that left hook. Oh, that was a nice right hook there that caught Andy Lee. A little bit off balance, but he hurt, he got hurt. Back, stop. And another right hand. Uh -huh. back. Took some Come on, guys. big back. shot by Chavez in that round. And Matthew Stewart wants him back to box it. That's his fight. He's got to stay in the center of the ring and use his dad. Round Those combinations together like that. Round number five, Andy Lee smiling. Now he's doing the fight from the outside. Daniel Stewart saying to Andy Lee, he's tired also. Which leads me to believe that Andy Lee is also tired. <laughs> Andy Lee, hey, look at that. Stewart's turning around. Stewart with the death of shot. Lee smiling. Honestly, there's no reason for Chavez to take them shots. I mean, I, it's so good. He's tired of this guy. Why take them? Now they're both talking to each other. <laughs> Passion of the win. This is a smart bet. Bob Aaron said it was going to be a ferocious fight. It has lived up to every bit. Ferocious. Now look at Chavez using the jab. Lee making the mistake of staying against the wall. Warning, both fighters. Warning, both fighters. Body 
Texas. From the Sun Bowl crowd here in El Paso, Texas. Chavez. Maybe we anticipated that the crowd would be full. And now the physical condition of both players will be tested. Good right hand by Chavez. when they face Julio the Chavez Jr. He's a big kid. A big guy who can make that middleweight weight, shrink his body to that, and then become a light heavyweight at five times. Final seconds. Great Mexican champion, arguably the greatest Mexican fighter of all time. Just Who boxing, that's like you can stop this man on the next round, too. Get your sucker away, man. Boom, that's what you can't hit him with enough knuckle down there. He's blocking that. Keep Just get him stopped. He can tell you box. As long as you can keep what you can let him miss and make him get out of balance, you're okay. Because when he misses, he gets totally out of balance. And just keep taking it to with your jab, okay? In a good fight, just boxing, but he's tired, man. He's tired. And I can see it, he's tabbing okay. and everything, and just keep yeah. the boxing. Yeah. And he could be falling out. Here's some of the action, round number five. Chavez working the body. There he is, putting his combinations together. Fire shots, Andy Lee coming up Go the middle, coaches. but missing. All right, say put. Tell you what, Slide on a, back for me. That was a good entertaining Go. round, but I gave it to Slide Chavez Jr. Stop. I got him up by three points on my unofficial scorecard. 46-49 for uh, Chavez Jr., Benny. And I have it the same. Andy Lee, Emmanuel Stewart urging him to work behind the jab. Take advantage of Chavez when he's off balance. Chavez, though, making this his fight. Getting inside on him, mixing up the shots now from different angles. What a change in the ability of Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Literally learned on the job with no amateur career. Lean out, trying to work that jab, trying to get a second win. Oh. A low oh. shot. Pick it up. It's hitting round the, the cup. All right. Box. Time to pick it up, Lawrence Cole tells him it's hitting around the cup. Chavez trying to find a home for his straight right hand. Lee now getting that straight left. Yeah, he catches him good with that man. Hey, hey, hey. Chavez is right in there. He's taking every shot, and then he's digging to the body. See, that's when he makes the mistake. He used to hold him, walk him back to the center of the ring. with the jab, Andy Lee. He needs the most solid jab. The most solid jab in the left hand down the middle. See, that was quick. That was fast. That was good. Right, right, right. Lee now being busier, getting his foot. Travis not able to get inside. And now he's backing him up against the corner. That's when Travis has been very effective. Imposing his will and attacking the body of Lee. Chavez against Edwin Rosario. When Chavez Sr. just planted his head on the chest of Edwin Rosario and got a spectacular fight. Chavez Jr. now trying to duplicate that same effort against the South Pauli. Lee now is lunging a lot with those shots. Chavez is just wrapping him down. That's a good solid body shot. Every time you connect a shot like that, takes a lot out of a fighter. Takes out his legs, his arms, makes him 
drop his arms, his hands. A good round for Lee, but I don't think it's enough for him to win it. Another round, I'm gonna score for Chavez Jr. I agree. I agree. All right. Conditioning okay. Alex Ariza paying okay. off dividends in this fight. Alright, you know it's tough, okay? Hey, let's go champion, okay? Alright, let's fight hard, okay? You put the pressure on him, you put him on the ropes. Alright? Left cover Round number seven coming up, some of the action. Round number six. Here we the see Chavez's very effective work in the body. Look at that. Right. Hook up the middle, uppercut, then come back with a left hook. You will see he's working him. Excellent combination punching by Chavez. And put his punch combination together there at the end of the round. Reason four. Stay in your corner. That's another Chavez round Stay. in my score card. Stop. Round number seven coming up. For the WBC World Middleweight title, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., the champion, and the lead, the South Trying to take it away, but so far, it has been who did Cesar Chavez in our card, but it is unofficial. from England, the Philippines, and one from Texas are scoring this fight. Chavez again has done his best work inside. He has done his best work when he's had that jab working from the outside and landing straight left. Good left right there by Chavez Jr. It's amazing how strong this kid is. I mean, he's just walking through him. Look at him. He just walks through him. He's hitting him with his best shot. Nice power shot. If he would have hit any other guy with that kind of shot, they would have fell. He would have dropped, but he just can't drop Chavez Jr. He's got that granite chin, that will, that determination. Never say die attitude. And he's right there in front of him. Look at him. Now watch the elbows of Andy Lee that are starting to drop to protect his body from those shots by Chavez. And now his head all of a sudden becomes open. Son is not smart in the way he's mixing up this shot, then digging the body again. This is not where Andy Lee should be. This is where Andy Lee needs to remain, in the center of the ring, boxing from the outside. He just can't, he can't do it. He can't do it. Every time he tries, he might be successful for 10, 15 seconds, but Chavez is right on him. He, he just closes that gap. He's like a freight train. Look at him. Look at him. The relentless pursuit by Chavez Jr. And that was the plan by Chavez Jr. to me to put his weight against Andy Lee and tire him out. Yes, make it a bomb. Make it a bomb. Make it that's exactly what Chavez right is, right is doing. He's not giving Andy Lee any room to punch. And as the rounds go, you see how much he's on top of Look at him. the And there you have it. He may be the son of a legend, but he is carving out his own legend. His name is Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. And he is the reigning, defending, and undefeated WBC middleweight champion of the world. The end, two minutes, 15 seconds of round number seven. And this is the way he did it. Look at Chuck. strong he is, how powerful he is, all over Andy Lee. That overhand right, that's what hurt him there. Andy Lee was hurt. You see Lawrence Cole looking in. Then he throws a lot of punches at flurries. And finally, Lawrence Cole says he's seen enough. He stops him. Stops the fight and Julio Cesar Chavez retains his title. Excellent performance. Everybody's happy there in Chavez's corner. Very happy dad, very happy brother. Omar Chavez there. Look at his father jumping up there on the side. The winner by TKO victory, still the undefeated WBC middleweight champion of the world, the Culiacan, Sinaloa, Mexico, Julio Cesar Chavez.
Jr. And then the official time, two minutes, 15 seconds of round number seven. Lawrence Gold stepping in in front of the two fighters and stopping the bout. 